So tomorrow, we're gonna be doing a big fat Greek brisket. I haven't done a brisket with a really good Greek seasoning in a long time. I think a long time ago I did a flat with a Greek seasoning, but we're gonna be doing a 13 pound USDA choice brisket. And we're gonna be doing it out on the Hunsaker Vortex drum smoker tomorrow. But first today we gotta to get the seasoning made and get that brisket seasoned up so it can soak in those flavors overnight. So I have a deli container here that we're gonna put the ingredients for the rub in. It's a very simple way to make this. You just put the lid on, shake it, it's all mixed up. It goes right on the brisket. We're starting with two tablespoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of granulated garlic, two tablespoons of dried basil, two tablespoons of oregano. This is a Greek oregano. One tablespoon of ground cinnamon. One tablespoon of a coarsely ground black pepper. One tablespoon of dried parsley one tablespoon of dried rosemary, sort of the crushed version of that, the smaller pieces, one tablespoon of dill weed, one tablespoon of marjoram, half a tablespoon of dried thyme, half a tablespoon of nutmeg, and half a tablespoon of paprika. I'm actually gonna use a smoked paprika because, well, we're doing a brisket out on the grill, I wanna bring a little bit of that smoky flavor to the rub. Normally, just regular paprika. Get our lid on and shake. That has that Greek seasoning aroma coming off of it. Just fantastic. Well, let's get our brisket out here. So here is our brisket, 13 pound USDA choice. Need to do some trimming on this. I'm not gonna go super crazy, I usually don't, but I do wanna get the excess fat that I can off and sort of these little pieces here that are just hanging in there. So I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. I'm just gonna trim this up. There we go. Definitely not a competition trim. I'm not a competition cook, but this is gonna be perfectly fine for our Greek brisket. So let's get this seasoned up. So I have my brisket in a sheet tray here with a rack that keeps it up off the bottom. I like to do that because when you put seasoning on a piece of meat, especially a large one, you will get a little bit of that sweating and the dripping keeps it up out of the juices. And there's plenty of moisture on this surface. So I'm just gonna start hitting it with our Greek seasoning. to our meat side up, and a final top coat here. This is smelling great, oh man. All right, that's looking good. This is going in the refrigerator, and tomorrow I'll see you outside at the Hunsaker Vortex Drum Smoker. All right, the Hunsaker Vortex drum smoker is up to tamp. My target today is 275. This smoker just loves 275. I've got water in a water pan and we're burning olive wood today, which I think is gonna be great for this big fat Greek brisket. So let's go ahead and get our brisket on. Cooking fat side down today, which is the way I usually do large cuts of meat, but especially on the drum, that fat towards the heat source. Let's get our temperature probe in here. Just want to adjust this slightly like that. All right, let's get closed up, get smoking. We'll come back in an hour and see if we need to spritz. All right, we are at the one hour mark. Let's check our brisket, see if we need to spritz. But let me tell you something first, that olive wood, I don't get to smoke with it often. The aroma coming off this is fantastic. 
I've used it on beef before on chicken, but on beef, it is amazing. That is looking fantastic. With those herbs on there, this is just gonna taste terrific, but it is looking a little dry on top. I'm gonna give it a spritz, I'm just using plain water. So we're gonna close up the lid here. We'll come back in an hour, check it again. And ultimately what I'm looking for here is how it looks. I want that outer texture and color to be where I want it before I wrap it. That could take four hours, could take five hours. Just have to wait and see, but in another hour, we'll check and see if we need to spritz again. We're at the two hour mark now. Our internal temp is about 106 degrees, and this is just really for a guide. This is probably gonna be closer to the stall around 160 when it's time to wrap, but really it's about that look and the texture. And I'll talk about that once we open up. So let's take a look. It is looking really good. I can see that we are gonna spritz again, but I'm just feeling here, I want that to be a little more set and a little bit darker in color. So yeah, we're probably gonna have another two hours here, but let's give it a spritz. I can't tell you how great this smells here with the combination of those Greek seasonings and the olive wood. This is just fantastic. So I'm gonna get this closed up and we're gonna come back in two hours or if we hit the stall, I think it's probably gonna be two hours. All right, we are at the four hour mark. The internal temperature is right around 150 degrees. Let's check our brisket, see if it's got the look and texture that I want so that we can go ahead and wrap it. And if it is time to wrap it, it's going to get wrapped in butcher paper. It's gonna rest in a foil pan and it's gonna go in the oven inside because at this point, once it's wrapped, heat is heat. We don't need the smoker anymore. Definitely could stay out here in the smoker, but it's getting a little breezy and I'd rather get inside and let it finish in there. So. Let's see if it's ready to get wrapped. That is one good looking brisket. Yeah, just by the looks of that, I can tell it's time to wrap this. Let's get our temperature probe out of here. Get a little water spritz around the edge here. And I wanna remember this point right here because this is where my temperature probe is gonna go back in. Get this in my foil pan. You can see I have some balled up foil there. Just helps keep this up off the bottom and any juices that collect. Get our temperature probe back in. That's pretty close, 149.5. We took it off at 150. That's a good placement. All right, so this is going inside into an oven at 275 degrees, save and temp is out here. And we're gonna let that go until we get about 203 and then we will probe for tenderness now if it's tender at that point it's going to rest for a couple hours after that so i'm going to go get this in the oven so it can get started because i'm going to be hungry when this is done all right our big fat greek brisket just hit 203 degrees internal and that's about the time that i like to check for tenderness now i took the temperature probe out because if we still need more time at this point i'm not going to measure temperature i'm just going to let it go in 30 minute increments at 275 in the oven but let's see how we're doing let's go into the point here yeah that's butter let's see how we're doing in the flat after we get through some paper oh that feels really good all right, I don't need to poke a lot more holes. This is good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a piece of foil over this and it's just gonna sit over on the stove top for two hours to rest, just to sort of come down slowly in temperature and continue to tenderize. So that was four hours out on the smoker and it just took five hours in here in the oven at 275. So now we're gonna let it rest for two hours. Let's see, my math would say that is a total of 11 hours that we're into this brisket. That's pretty normal for a brisket at this temperature. I always like to say time plus temperature equals tenderness. You gotta give it that time to get tender. 
you want to go hot and fast, you can do that. But if I have the time, I like to do a little bit slower. And 275 isn't the lowest you can go. Obviously, you can go down to 225. That's a very common temperature, but it will take longer. I find that 275 is sort of that good medium in there to get your brisket done so you can still enjoy it the same day, but also give it that time to tenderize a little more slowly. So this is gonna sit just over on the stove top and I'll see you back here in a couple hours. All right, our brisket has been resting for two hours just on top of the stove, like I said, covered in foil. Let's open it up and get a good look at this. Oh yeah. This looks and smells phenomenal. And something I like to do on occasion is see what is the temperature after that two hour rest. Let's see. Down here in the point, it is 178 degrees still after two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to my cutting board so we can slice in and have a taste. All right, so now what I usually do is I will separate the point from the flat, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna go straight across here. We're gonna get a little bit of both probably. Let's see. We might have a juice -a lanch. Let's see. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now I am gonna separate this part of the point over here. Just follow that fat seam along. And you can lift it right off. So here we have the rest of our point. A little bit on the bottom here. Let's cut a slice. Nice and bendy. Now I got a little bit of point, a little bit of flat here, so I'm gonna taste from this piece. Oh, that point is super tender. <laughs> Love those nice barky bits on the point. But let's taste some flat first. Mmm, that Greek seasoning came through nicely. Really happy with that. Mmm, now, piece of the point. My favorite part of the brisket. I mean, everything's good, but come on. I love the point, a lot of people love the point. Let's see. You got that beautiful fatty meat there. All that flavor, complemented greatly by the spices we use for this Greek seasoning. I'm 100% happy with this brisket and 100% happy with that seasoning.